going on, guys? Swaggy, you're back. Atlanta Hawks fans, appreciate the love. I know, man, my voice, I'm losing it completely, guys. Hang it with me, bear with me. Go win tonight by the Hawks. Regardless of my voice, I have to show love to Atlanta, to the A, my guy Trey Young. Big performance tonight by Kevin Herter, who really led the team to a, almost an improbable win. Everyone had Philly winning this. I, I was going to make a video, actually, before the series that the Hawks would win, but I was, I think I was, where, where, I think I was on vacation or something. I don't remember. I was, I was somewhere, but... I didn't get to make it in time, but I knew from the start that the Hawks will win this series because Trey Young, you can see the range that he's got. Obviously, Clint Capella, John Collins, Kevin Herter. I mean, when you have Bogdanovich, who is probably your like fourth best player, and he could be a number two or a number three option on like, almost any other team. I mean, he's that talented. Once he finds his shot, this Hawks team will be unbeatable, but I'm going to need to see a lot more out of the Hawks. They haven't really been scoring as much as I'd like, but remember, Philly is, is one of the best defenses, but Milwaukee is not going to get any easier. And then the Suns, if they make the finals, they're the sixth best defense. So the Hawks are going to have to start shooting the ball better. Trey Young going 5 of 23 can't happen again. He knows that. He's been so great. But tonight, they got really lucky that, one, Philly didn't really play that well. I mean, they shot 32 from three. The Hawks shot worse. I don't, I don't know how the Hawks honestly won this game. I really don't. They turned it over only 10 times. I think that that's probably why they won it, and Kevin Herter simply, but... Like, if you think about it, Bognatovich and Trey Young, looks like they combined, what, 7 of 31? I mean, that just think about that. And they won this game. John Collins had 14 and 16, monster game, super efficient as well, 5 of 6 from the field. Kevin Herter dropped 27. And then again, Bognatovich had just 4 points. Gallinari had 17. Gallinari is one of my favorite players on the team because whenever he shoots, it just looks like it's going in. He's a smart player as well. He has a high, quick release. I love those, like, I don't know how tall Gallinari, he's probably like 6'9 or something like that, but I just love those players that can just shoot over the top of guys. I mean, it's just, it's an underrated part of basketball. I love Danilo Gallinari. Obviously, he was in Denver and then New York and all, or was he in New York before Denver? I think he was in New York before. Yeah, because he, he was in the Melitrade, right? So, but yeah, Gallinari, great player. Lou Will had six points, but I mean, the biggest takeaway from this game is just that the Atlanta Hawks, they were able to pull out a win without Trey Young. That's how deep they are. I've been saying it all year. The Hawks are the deepest team in the NBA. When Trey Young shoots 5 of 23 and you're able to pull off an improbable win on the road in Philly. Remember Philly? I, correct me if I'm wrong. Philly had the best home record in the league. I probably could be wrong in that, but I, I know they're one of the best because you don't want to go into Philly in a game seven. I've been saying this in the beginning. If the Hawks had to go into Philly and do a game seven, they're probably going to lose. I did not think that the Hawks would win tonight. I really didn't. Uh, again, when I say I didn't think they would win, obviously I was rooting for them, but thinking they were going to win. I mean, Hawks fans, though, they definitely felt they were going to win tonight because they have the better team, and they showed why in this game despite Trey being off, despite Bogdanovich, it's next man up. I mean, Kevin Herter said it himself that they've been battling injuries. They've been the underdogs all season, and they continue to prove guys. Guys, the, the Hawks, or people thought the Hawks would get knocked out in the first round by the New York Knicks, and look at them now. They're going to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think the Hawks will beat the Bucks. Expect a video out tomorrow when I get my voice back and we can get some clips in, but the Hawks are my pick to win the finals. I made a video a couple of days ago saying the Hawks might win it all. The next, the Nets are out, and the Hawks are about to win it all. They might just do it. They've got so much depth. They've got great coaching in Nate McMillan. They defend. They're able to win games without scoring 100-plus points, and that, that is so impressive because the reason why the Hawks would win it all is because of their high-powered offense, but the fact that they're winning games solely by defense – is incredible so the Hawks they're a team that you should definitely stop sleeping on to this point I know a lot of people again are going to sleep on the Hawks and pick the Bucks in five the Bucks in six but I'm telling you right now dude Trey Young the way he's shooting the basketball I mean obviously tonight was off but just in general the way Trey's playing now you've got Kevin Herter Bogdanovich is going to get it going John Collins has been playing well Clint Capella we know what he can bring to the table he's a problem on the boards he's the best rebounder in the NBA this season so I'm going to leave it at that just because my voice and I want to get this video out. But guys, I appreciate you for coming by, Hawks fans. Thank you, guys.